Hey guys, if your time is here, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be starting a new series on the channel known as Skywars Game Review. So some of you may be wondering, what is Skywars Game Review? Essentially, I'm going to be taking my clips and my recordings and then reviewing them, talking about what's good and bad and what I should have done, what I should have not done, and the reasons behind some of the things I did. This is mainly for beginner players that need to learn how Skywars works or learn the game sense behind it, so that way they can play much better in their own games. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Anyways, let's just start off with the game. So right now I'm looting up and I'm using former kit. So let me pause the video real quick. As you can see, I have a leather helmet, leather boots, iron pants for my former kit, and also iron chest plate. I mean, I have pretty good gear compared to the rest of the competitors. So I got pretty lucky with this situation. If you, if you don't manage to get a good chest plate or like any other pieces of armor, try and cheese someone or try and like get a third party kill on someone who's low. So that way that you can actually get their armor if you're using a kid that is an armor. That technique you just saw was called speed bridging, where I unshift after a little bit and then I place blocks. That improves my speed drastically compared to normal bridging. So um, I recommend you guys try learning that for any of you new players. So right now I actually jump back so that way someone doesn't egg me off and I'm trying to egg this other player off that's standing on their bridge because if they get hit off, um, I actually get a regen and strength and I also get a kill which is very important. So I didn't manage to hit the player, however now I'm just moving on and notice how I'm placing blocks underneath me. This is to keep some sort of elevation momentum while I'm jumping. So I noticed this player right here, I don't know, really know what he's doing, I think he's either trying to team with this guy or just he's crouching around for no reason. So anyway, I'm going to start attacking him. As you can see right here, my aim was pretty bad as I kind of missed a couple of my shots. And now he has um, a perfect angle on me, so he's probably going to get a double hit. So as you can see, he actually, got, he actually managed to get a large hit on me, so I took some fall damage. So I'm at around 17 HP I believe. So anyways, let's continue the video. Okay, in this situation, um, as you guys just saw, a charge creeper has been placed, and these two are fighting right now. So, let's see what I did. Alright, so I did a, actually a really smart move right now. Since charge creepers actually do a lot of knockback and damage, putting blocks in front of you actually negates a lot of that knockback and damage. So I placed some blocks to prevent the creeper from actually hitting me too hard. And for the other player, unfortunately, let's see right now. Yeah, he falls off because of the creeper, which is kind of sad. I ate a gap, which I probably should not have done because I just got regen from, actually I didn't get regen, never mind. But I, need, I didn't need to put on that gap because I already had almost max HP. I see a player right here and they seem to have like pretty bad armor compared to me. So I'm gonna try and rush them. Notice how he plays blocks. That Placing blocks is actually really important for combos. As if you don't have something like eggs like I do in this scenario, you can use blocks to stop someone's um, momentum, which allows them to, allows the enemy to get a combo. See right here, he matches somewhat stop my momentum. However, I wasn't really playing properly, so that's kind of my fault at the same time. And he managed to get a double hit on me. So I fall back, and now I'm trying to rush him. Since I have better armor than him, I know I can actually kill him without any like any difficulty. So that's what I'm doing right now. Notice how in that like one frame, I actually use an egg. That's to get a small combo on him, because I stopped this momentum briefly, which allows me to have a little bit extra reach compared to my competitor. This, mean, this allows me to get a hit, or else he would have comboed me in reality. So now I'm gapping up, because I'm actually quite low, I'm only at 5 hearts. And I see this other player coming, they're I think level 99, which I'll talk about later. And they actually have really good armor compared to me, they have an enchanted iron chest plate, which has projectile protection 3, brought 4 leggings. I don't know if he has boots on from judging from this um, still image. He's also got an iron helmet. So I'm most likely going to retreat or move out. I move out. However, a different player just surprised me and attacked me. Um, he's not wearing anything crazy. However, if I were to fight this guy, I would be third party by the other player. So then the best idea would be actually be to run away. Because I don't have the best armor. Like I have pretty good armor, but I don't have the best armor. So it's better for me to just um, walk away from the situation rather than fight these two. 
So as you can see, um, I actually managed to evade the two players. The smart thing that I did there was place blocks as it throws people out, like it throws players off their momentum or off their balance. Um, it kind of stops the player, the iron player's momentum and it allows me to get away without any like sort of problems. There I hit a couple of eggs so that way um, he probably takes some sort of damage from the other player and actually go down here to eat a gapple. So I'm going here and I see a lava bucket please. So then I instantly think that I can tap this guy into the lava to get, to get some extra damage and potentially kill him. I tap him into the lava. However, he's actually got fire resistance, so he's not going to do any damage to him. The other, the player that has a lot of stuff actually fell down. So there's no, there's no need for me to rush him because I probably will get killed. And this other player right now is bullying me, so I'm trying to get cover. Um, I got bowed a couple of times in this situation. And it's probably not wise of me to actually jump and attack him because there's a small hole. If you can't see, there's a small hole right here, which means I risk the potential of falling down and actually getting killed by the player with a lot of stuff. So I actually walk back from the scenario. I place a couple blocks to prevent the player from actually um, like perfectly catching up to me. Like it somewhat stops their momentum, depending on where I place the blocks. My block placements could have been better, however. Now I'm actually retreating from the scenario, so I'm just walking around the map, seeing if, anything, if there's anything I can do to like clean up. So right now, as you just saw, one player actually went down to fight the player with a lot of stuff, which in his, in their opinion wasn't, in my opinion, um, their decision wasn't a wise choice because they have barely any armor compared to the other player, and even a sneak attack is not gonna really knock them out. Um, there's another player right there, which I noticed, and these two are about to fight. So my thought was I can actually steal one of the kills and get strength and finish off the other one. Because if you didn't know, in normal mode, strength is actually really OP. And you can actually like, kill a fully stacked player in two or three hits with strength. So I was planning to go down. So after that small lag spike, the two players are fighting now. So I decided to go down and try to intercept. As you can see, um, Phantom Boy 80, which is the player's name, has actually already got the kill. That means he's got the he's got the strength right now, which means I have to really run away, or else I'll get one or two shotted. I place those two blocks in that exact position because that's most likely the position that Phantom Boy 80 is gonna run towards me in. Um, so if I block them off, he's gonna have to maneuver around a little bit. Notice how I place one single block to keep my momentum, and then I. I quickly block off this section so then uh, Phantom Boy 80 can't catch up to me. Um, even if he was to catch up to me at this scenario, he would probably lose his strength before he even touched me. It would be a huge advantage for me. Alright, so now I catch this other player that um, I ran away from earlier because he had a bow. Right now, it seems like he's not actually aware of my surround. He's not aware of his surroundings, so I can probably sneak up to him. Notice how we actually took off his chest plate and put on an iron one. That's not the smartest decision to make. You often want to just like switch up your chest plate um, before you like drop any of your items. So instead of um, shifting and clicking your chest plate, you should just replace it with your iron chest plate. That way you don't um, you don't pose a risk of um, losing your chest plate and then having someone kill you with no chest plate on. So right now um, this player is not aware of me attacking him. So let's see what happens. So yeah, I just get a, a massive combo on him, um, which is a huge disadvantage for this player, as they can't really do anything against it. And notice how my crosshair is always at least trying to um, be up at some point on his body. So see that? I'm always trying to look at him. That's because I want my aim to be consistent so I can get as many hits as possible. Also notice that right there you saw that my little blocking motion, that basically means that I block hit it, which um, allows me to keep the combo going. And if I keep the combo going, I can get more hits on him, allowing me to finish the player off. And there we go, I actually finished the player off because of my combo or my aim. I picked up some of the stuff because I didn't actually know what he had exactly. So I just picked up whatever um, the player had. Now I'm about to change out my gear to his. Notice how the other player is right there, Phantom Y80, the last player, as you can see, because there's only two players left. He's shooting me. So I have to place some sort of defense or um, some sort of wall. 
if for newer players i recommend putting a three stack or a three um, high tower of wall or no a three high block of wall so as you can see three blocks because um if you put two blocks they can actually snipe your head as your player characters are slightly a little above two blocks in height so if they jump they can actually hit your character so I placed three blocks, which wasn't the best placement as I could have put it more diagonal where my, my, where my mouse is pointing. However, I do have these two pieces of armor so I can switch them out. Thankfully, the other player didn't actually manage to hit me and they actually hit the wall for some reason when I was clearly wide, wide open. So that's um, a bad on their part. See, now I'm actually at the middle section. And as I said before, there's actually a massive hole here. So what I can do is I can egg or snowball the player into the hole, and, um, forcing them to take some sort of fall damage and potentially allowing me to get a combo. So I managed to actually um, hit them into the hole. I was planning to combo them, but like I realized that there's a hole here so then I can just drop them into it. Since you get 24 HP, like you can see in this shot right now, he won't actually take any extra damage because he had um, two extra absorption hearts. So the player is down there right now and I'm up here. This means that they got a low ground advantage, and if you don't know, in Minecraft, low ground is actually really overpowered. Because you get slightly better reach than the person on high ground. So if this person were to hit me from down there, or if I were to come a little closer and we were both in reach, the lower ground player would actually hit me. Um, I'm Right now, I'm just waiting for the right situation to attack. Because if I were to go in right now, I'd probably get killed. Because judging by the player's level, which is level 99, um, if you guys don't know, usually people around level 90s or level 100s or anything higher are usually good players in my opinion. So I like to play a little more cautious against them. Again, I'm not saying all level 100 players are amazing, but I'm not saying um, they're bad necessarily. So this player is planning to actually staircase up as you see quickly. As you can see, they actually built a quick staircase here, which means that they have, if they were to get up on the staircase, they would have a low ground advantage and they would quickly hit me. So what I did was, I blocked it off. And if you're wondering how I place my block so fast, I actually um, butterfly clicked on my right click. Butterfly clicking is when you use two fingers on the um, on the same mouse trigger. So I used two, two of my fingers, my pointer finger and my middle finger on my right hand. I mean, sorry, on my right trigger on my mouse or right click which allowed me to place a lot of blocks in a very quick amount of time. This prevented the player from actually getting up and attacking me, so now they have to find an alternate solution. Notice how I actually blocked up that area? The reason I actually did that was because the player, again, they're, if they were coming up the staircase, they would have a low ground advantage and they quickly be able to kill me. So if I were to block this off, um, I can maybe be able to cheese the player. So if they were to come up, I can quickly knock him or hit him and get some extra damage in. So exactly as I predicted, this player is actually doing um, something called a breezy staircase bridge or, or what I like to call a bleepo bridge, where they're bridging without shifting. But because of this, their back is actually facing away from me. So that means I can get an extra hit on them. See how I got an extra hit and they also went down to 17 HP because of the fall damage. Um, I managed to hit them and now we're actually going to fight the duel. Since he's at a lower HP, I'm at a slightly higher advantage compared to him. He got the double hit on me which means that he was able to actually block hit and get some extra knockback on me. Which, is some, which did like some extra hits. See here. I actually managed to um, get perfectly in his range and like I saw so I had perfect reach and I also had really good aim in this scenario. So I was able to hit him multiple times before the player was even able to touch me because they were looking in the wrong direction. This is just an homage to saying that you re you need really good aim to play Skywars. Or you don't necessarily need really good aim, but you should usually have good aim in order to like win a lot of your games. For example, if since many of you guys know Technoblade, they actually also normal clicks. Like I normal click 6 to 7 CPS, but because I can aim somewhat um, good, I can usually get hits on players that see, like have 12 to 13 CPS or 14 to 15. See, I managed to hit him. However, he gets a couple hits on me as well. So I'm about at 9 HP while he's at 5. 
a really smart decision he made was actually putting this lava bucket as lava does a lot of damage to the player that doesn't have fire resistance see how i get crazy low in almost like um one second or one tick that's because of the lava it did a lot of damage to me and also this player was hitting me thankfully they were on really low hp to begin with so i was able to just um finally crit him out yeah i managed to crit him out and actually win the game that's basically the end of the video. As I said in the beginning, it's more um, a review of certain Skywars games that I played. And in the future, I'm planning to review some of your games. If you guys want to send them in, um, please just tell me in the description that you made a game and you uploaded it to YouTube. Now check it out. Anyways, that about does it. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.